122 Formula One races, 432 victories, and three Drivers' World Championships. That's the celebrated record of the brilliant Brazilian Ayrton Senna. He's the man with the mostest here in Adelaide, and he's chatting now with our own Barry Sheen. It's been a, a good fight, a good competition with the Williams, Renault drivers, and uh, uh, it's been good to, to us because uh, we had big difficulties, but we were able to put together every single ingredient to, to compete strongly for the title again and uh, finally you know got it in a in a very nice race in suzuka and and the final final result was uh, a good championship a good sportive championship what about halfway through the season when the williams was obviously a better package people were saying that senna's really looks like he's under pressure now were you oh sure i was under pressure before starting the season and uh, we had a new engine with a new car, new aerodynamics, everything. And yet we won the first four races. Uh, after then, it was inevitable. Williams, you know, was stronger than us. And when they resolved their problems with reliability, it was really difficult to cope with them. And we were pushing hard already from the first race. But the, the, the results of those uh, push early in the season were not going to come only later in the season because it's a very big machine and until you get the momentum right and the things right it takes time so i knew we were going to have a hard time in the middle of the season like we all knew and uh, we were trying to cover it for later as soon as we could and as the races were going by we were buying time basically we were just buying time race after race to give the technicians enough time to come up with the solutions and uh, every race we score points, we were buying time uh, for later season uh, fight for a victory again, and we got it. The race in Japan, when did you know that Gerhard had problems and when did you decide to slow down? I, th I think we're on uh, about 10 laps to go, roughly, when I realized he started to slow down because we were going flat out, really flat out. It was a fantastic race for us. We really pushed hard and was very exciting for us and uh, then suddenly I realized he dropped and I thought okay he either think he cannot make or he has a problem and so I slowed down together accordingly and uh, and I knew anyway that at the end of the race I would have to swap positions because uh, we've been working together very well over these two years and he has helped me in other occasions uh, in different ways but he has done and uh, we have a deal that whenever one can help the other, we do it. And at that, that day, although I was leading the race and I pushed flat out because we both pushed, that's the motive of, for being racing, racing driver. Uh, I knew that if we were in that situation at the end of the race, we would change positions. And what about the relationship with Alan Prost now? We hear all these stories that you've kissed and made up. What's the, what's the true story? Well, uh, it's a difficult situation, but uh, we, we both try to be professional. We have, we race together, we are competing together, and uh, in Hungary, we sat down and we talk under very particular circumstances, and um, we, we since then decide to try to, 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 to work in a better environment doesn't mean that he agree with my things it doesn't mean I agree with his things but uh, we try to at least cope with some situations in the best way possible so Ayrton Senna came to Japan intending to win his third world championship for himself for Brazil for McLaren and for Honda with his success in Japan he's done just that Brilliant driver, but an extremely, extremely complex man. Jackie, of all the Grand Prix racing that you did and the championships that you won, did you ever dislike a man or a driver that much that you would want to put him off the track? No, I never had that. I was very fortunate. I think I drove probably in the halcyon years of Grand Prix racing where there was a camaraderie. We had we mixed a lot more in travel, in, in hotels, in restaurants. Uh, 
we were just a closer group of people. That is disappointing, though, when you hear what it is still a sport. As much yes. as you want to say it's a business. Yeah, I think it always has to be a sport, whether it's cricket, whether it's rugby, whether it's motor racing or anything else. I think Ayrton made a tactical mistake by making some fairly strong remarks after he had uh, clinched the World Championship in Japan just those two weeks ago, which I think could have been left unsaid. I think you're absolutely and totally correct on that point.